Hello YouTube and welcome to episode, uh, I don't know, <laughs> the Leicester career mode. Uh, just going to be reading a few uh, news articles about Leicester. Uh, we've won, the player of the month has gone to our player, it's Ben Schmeichel. And apparently our biggest, you know, biggest transfer, it's not Mane, we signed in the last episode. Last thing of the transfer window, um, we're training him here because he's quite young actually. The first game is against Aston Villa. Um, it's Midland Derby. We want to get off to a good start, so got some good passing play, but we kind of fluff it up a couple of times here, as you can see. It was a good shot that one, but uh, it was a good save by Gozan. I don't know when he ever made a good save, but we've kept trying, and the first half ends nil nil. Uh, quite a few good chances for both teams to, you know, get in front. Then Adama, Adama Traore right here, he puts in a cross, no he doesn't, he, they, they pass it round and I think it's Ayu who hits the header on it and we're 1-0 down in a Midlands derby which isn't good at all, um, yeah, you know, in the pre-season tournament we did show signs of conceding crosses, it was just when were they going to cross the ball there, um, it was a good trickery, but really like weak from our defenders, I would have thought. We've tried and tried, but Aston Villa walked up with the three points. Our first three points dropped at home, and that's definitely not a good result, especially it being a derby as well. Oh, gosh, I'm so glad I'm not in charge of Sunderland, my gosh. It would be hell on. Anyway, second training session here. And there's quite a few good results here. Mares gets his long passing up. Always good to see. Our second game is against Stoke in the Britannia Stadium. We're way at the Stoke. Another Midlands derby, I do believe. Uh, a good pass and play from Stoke. But Okazaki, he gets banged and he's on the floor. And Vardy's coming in for him. Um, they put a cross in and again, these crosses were just not really doing well with them. Uh, you can see it always gets to their player. And uh, this here, as you can see right here, there's, um, yep, there's, the reason I've kept this full highlight in, you'll see in a minute, um, Stoke passing it around, uh, they get it off us here, we're really weak defending, they put a cross in and there's a goal, but that whole highlight lasted one minute of added time apparently, so I was a bit annoyed about that, but we will go 1-0 down. And it's in the added time, and really, you can't, you can't say that's one minute of added time, especially in FIFA. But it's annoying. Schmeichel here makes, you know, quite a risky save, but a good save. Um, Vardy here just cuts inside. He gives it to Mane, and Mane gets his first goal for the club. We're level. Um, seventy third minute. We can still go for it. Buy all, go for it. We just need to, just need to, you know, make sure we're not risking it at all. Um, we weren't here, but they put in a ball and they went up. You, if you see the timings of the goals, their goal was about four minutes in FIFA time after ours, which is pretty embarrassing of you, ask me. Especially again in a Midlands derby, you can't be letting people just run past you like that and. The finish, good finish, good finesse shot. And Caballos and all the players just tried to, you know, get back into the game. But Stoke were happy. <laughs> Stoke were happy here, as you can see, with three points. And they are hiding it in the corner. Very annoyingly. But only out for nine days, uh, exactly he is. So, no problem there. Um, more training, as you can see. You know, if the training's been alright, there's no one being outstanding, performing really well every week. I wouldn't have expected that in the first start. But um, we play this game against Man City in the Capital One Cup. And I'll tell you what, I'll just tell you now, our form has changed in this game. I'll tell you now, like, let's, I was so annoyed with the two results, right? Mind you, Man City didn't play well. In the first half, they didn't play well, let me put that right. In the first half, they played not very well at all. Um, as you can see here, we can easily pass it around them, and it was a good smash into the back of the net right there. Nathan Dyer, same thing again. 
they win the ball back. They pass it to Willy Caballero. And that's got to be one of the funniest own goals I've ever seen. <laughs> don't know what Mares is celebrating by himself for, but that has got to be like. <laughs> Look, I've, I think I've put in the replay more than once just for this goal. <laughs> that's so poor control. Like, wait, I played goal. I played um, a goals astroturf place quite often, and like. Seriously, that was that we never ever, no one ever makes that touch so bad. And we go up 3 0 against Man City in 29 minutes, and it's unbelievable, really. After the two games, you know, Willy Caballero making a horrible save yet again. Um, Boney goes one on one with uh, Schmeichel, and Schmeichel thankfully makes a save. He's been good for us, Peter Schmeichel. I should have put Swartz in, really, but. It wasn't failing like it. Kevin De Bruyne whips across and uh, Schmeichel he manages to get it once again. And they were pushing on Man City as you can see here. They weren't going to let go but they're, really their defensive performance has let them down. And at half time we're winning 3-0. That kind of speaks for itself doesn't it. Uh, Schmeichel here making a bit of a you know, a risky save. Um, it was a bit of a clumsy save I do say so myself. And Schulp on the ball. He goes in. He goes in, he still wants to shoot, and he does. He shoots, the keeper makes a save. You can't really catch them. I don't blame Caballero for that. You can't catch them at that speed. But he should have at least parried it away, not in front of a uh, scope. He would really just mug the defence off. And I don't mean like skillfully, I just mean the defence were horrible. <laughs> and they were for the entire game. Here's Inla right here taking the shot. Mares gets in the end of the rebound and it's 5 0 against Man City in the Capital One Cup. Like, <laughs> why why do we lose the derbies and then win in the freaking game against Man City? I mean, if we've won against Man City like that, we should really be targeting some silverware this season. And that was the sixth goal and the last goal of the game. It was such a finish that was. Uh, I think I put him on as a substitute. Uh, Kramic, Kramic or something like that. Um, it's a n nice through ball because uh, they were on all-out attack for some reason. They should have just not embarrassed themselves, but they did. Um, one of the last kicks of the game with right Schmeichel, and we tried to get some crosses in. It was a good shot there and added time, but Caballero he, they passed it out. And that's going to be full time Leicester City 6, Man City 0. Um, yeah, a bit of surprise in that. And our next game and final game of the episode is against Arsenal, who are the best defensive team in the league, as you can see right there. So, <laughs> definitely weren't going to give us the same performance as Man City did. Um, a good shot right there from Caballos. Mane and Vardy also getting in on the action. And Vardy. Goes round and shoots and scores. He smashes it into the back of the net. Vardy's been in good form. I'll tell you that now. He's been in good form in real life as well. He could break the record for uh, most goals in consecutive games in real life. But he's doing well in the career mode as well. And that's all that matters at the moment. Um, good pass and play around the, um, around the front here. In the box. And Petacek's getting nowhere near that. He may be a world-class goalkeeper. But you're getting nowhere near that. And the winner against Arsenal and City. Like, Really? Um, Arsenal piled pressure on, I'll tell you that now. Um, as you can see there, they've gone close. And they were a bit unlucky sometimes. Um, there was a highlight, which was a risky penalty, but it didn't show for some reason. And their goal, practically the same as Jamie Vardy's. Theo Walcott puts it in the back of the net, and it's 1-1. They've equalised in the 60, 68th minute. Might have been the 67th, I'm not sure. But they're all celebrating like mad. Um... So this should be the levelled with Leicester City, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> calm down. But, you know, we've got back into the game and they're going to try and win it now. We're going to try and win it. And next highlight, Danny Caballos, he gets in the box. <laughs> That's a clumsy tackle. I'm not sure who it was. I think it was Gibbs who made the tackle. Yeah, it was. And we have a chance to go in, go ahead. We have a chance to beat Arsenal. Uh, probably. Vardy hits the crossbar. But Bellanui, or what, whatever his name is, our centre-back. Lovely header, by the way, into the back of the net. 
stole Vardy's goal, but Vardy really should be hitting the target from there. And the penalty spot, it wouldn't go down as a penalty, obviously. <laughs> Hit the bar. Uh, it was all in the tactics, lads. It was all in the tactics. And we still went for more goals, cause, but only on the counter-attack, obviously. We weren't going to risk it like that. And Schmeichel makes a you know, command and save. And their crosses got weaker and weaker, and they gave up more and more during the end of the game. Sums up Arsenal, really. And they got beat 5-1 off uh, Munich yesterday. Um, right here we'll see that's gonna be the end of the episode at the moment uh, if you like the video leave a like and yeah um, tell us how you think it's going what do you think of the post commentary and also this Sunderland talk show that I'm thinking about doing it's gonna be on a separate channel obviously I'm planning to make maybe January time I've done a Twitter poll and it's um, 4 to 1 I did two Twitter polls one ended and um, 50-50 uh, with two people voting and the other one ended 3-0. to zero. So, yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you liked it, leave a like. Um, if you didn't, just say why and how I can improve. I'm always wanting to improve. And I'll see you later, lads.